Netflix announced that their Vikings Falhawk TV show will be ending with the third season. And good riddance with all those Orwellian changes they did to history and the characters. Where's Hal, everybody, and welcome to, to another video. Sometimes, from time to time, my dear friends, good news pops up and I am here to report on it. Please do look at the screen. Now, it seems that the third season of Netflix's Vikings Valhalla, or Valhokl, as I should say, it should be the correct pronunciation, is the last one of them all and should not be renewed for a fourth season and who wonders nobody could be surprised with all those things they did in the sequel to the history channel's vikings tv show for example the biggest crime of them all and now i haven't seen the sequel to uh, the original vikings tv show but i know what they did for example the swapping of uh, the character of Hakon Sjordarsson into this. Now, he was quite obviously a, <laughs> a, um, a leader, a ruler of Norway at the end of the 10th century, from around 975 to 995. So it should be quite obvious what he looked like. And, be, well, because it was done by Netflix, they had to do, in my eyes, in my humble opinion, the greatest swap in the history of swapping. It wasn't only a, a gender swap, but all, also race swap. So, I mean, it, but this is something that we have been dealing with for the last uh, couple of years, I should say, maybe even more. Uh, this changing of history and uh, those people who are doing those changes in those TV shows are very often saying, well, you know, it's just fiction. Well, in this case, of course, this isn't a fiction. Now, I have made a lot of videos covering all those swaps and all those... Um, uh, crimes that they did in fantasy films and fantasy TV shows, but uh, this is the next level. This is, um, I know, I mean, it's uh, many of those things are based on legends. For example, you know, the the entire history of Ragnar Lothbrok. I mean, it's half history, half legend, but uh, and and it should be taken with a grain of salt. But if we are depicting a Viking leader in the tenth century. I think we can be pretty much sure he didn't look like this chick. And I don't like changing history. It's very much Orwellian, very much harmful for humanity in general. But let us look at what um, uh, bleedingfool.com are saying about this particular matter at hand. Netflix has announced that the third season of Vikings Valhokl, which will air in 2024, will be the last. The sequel to the Michael Hurst created Vikings comes from Jeb Stewart and premiered on the streaming service in 2022 when it got a two-season renewal. The series is set in the 11th century and focuses on some of the most famous Vikings in history, including Leif Eriksson, uh, Freydis Eriksdottir, uh, Harald Hardara, uh, and the Norman uh, King William the Conqueror. Now... I am a huge fan of history, and myself, I would love to see uh, the story of King Harold and uh, Norman, uh, I mean, <laughs> William the Conqueror, the Battle of uh, Hastings, you know, 1066, but really, taken into consideration the fact that it was done by Netflix, now, I, I stayed as far from it as possible. But the article continues, Deadline reports that Stuart said to this of the series, I'm so grateful to have had three seasons to tell the stories of Leif, Harald and Freydis. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to show the evolution of how three of the most famous Vikings became the icons we know today. Now, come to think of it, how could they uh, include uh, Jarl Hakon when this show is set like 200 years after he perished? So did those three seasons cover like three centuries or you tell me who saw the TV show? I, I didn't see it. 
or did they do something else as far as changes go? Did they like compress the time? Did they move the character of Harkon into another century? Let me know. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to show the evolution of the how three of the most famous Vikings became the icons we know today, and we have done just that. I hope when the audience gets to see the new season, they'll be excited by all the new heights that we've taken these heroes. Uh, when we started this project five years ago, I worked hard with this incredible cast and crew to craft a journey that we all hoped would be satisfying. Of course, with real historical figures, there are always more aspects of their lives that could be explored huh, and desecrated. But it made sense story-wise for our Leif, Freydis and Harald's voyages to end with our third season. And we really cannot wait for the fans to see the conclusion of this chapter of history. Yeah, so thanks very much indeed. No, thank you, but no, thank you. We all know what it means when they today, in these days, this day and age, make a TV show based on history, especially European history. Now, you can be pretty much sure that when somebody's making a uh, film or a TV show based on European history, and especially as ancient history as, uh, like, the, the first millennium, they are going to do something naughty with it. But for those of you, my dear friends, who enjoy good literature, who enjoy good entertainment, and uh, who want to see <laughs> old European folklore being brought into the 21st century, but at the same time not being desecrated, a very, very skillful combination of the old and the new, please check out my crowdfunding campaign that launches the 11th of October, 2023, as of this, as of making of this video, it's tomorrow. It's for my Czech and Polish and Slovak subscribers because it's written in Czech and Polish. It is a fantasy written in epic poetry, a collection of poems and accompanying texts. A satire, extremely humorous satire on the way people are living their lives today. See uh, or saw or seen, sorry, through the eyes and the lenses of old European myths and legends and folklore. That is everything that you know from the tellings and the stories and the fairy tales of our grandfathers and grandmothers, but with a little bit of spice. And uh, I can promise you, my dear friends, if you come the 11th of October 2023, you'll have a month to back it. If you back it, it'll be very cheap. Pfft, not even 10 bucks for a book. Come on, that's a bargain. I promise you, you will be entertained. All right, then, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and the Maria.